Hi everybody. I'm making a um, video about how to make seed crackers, which is better for you, for me anyway than um, than flour based crackers. I don't like the gluten in it. I don't like the ant the inflammatory effects of flour and so on. So this is a good alternative um, to saltines, and they're just yummy. So here's what we need: um, pepitas pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and sesame seeds. And it, it should be a true seed of some type. You shouldn't have nuts in there. I've never, well, I've never uh, made these crackers with like pecans or walnuts or anything like that, just seeds. So I'm gonna make myself three cups of this, whatever configuration of that. I need one more cup of seed, so I'll check back in a minute and see where we're at. I'm just going to go ahead and grind this. You don't want to hear that. So, okay, so we're done the um, we're done that grinding, and we just did it with a little um, tiny food uh, grinder, food processor. That's how it comes out. So it's just just a bit finer. It's not exactly flour, but it makes it a bit finer, unless you want to leave them in their whole state, the um, seeds. And then it's good that way too, but I just wanted it to be a bit finer. So now we're ready to move on with the recipe here. Calling for three tablespoons of psyllium husk. And that's what that looks like. You can get it from the health food store, from the bulk foods usually in the grocery. It's basically just the husk of wheat, basically. It doesn't have any uh, amount of carb or anything, so we're gonna go ahead and put three on. And three. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder because it's very, eh, make a heaping. Garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. A bit more because I like that flavor. And then a teaspoon of seasoned salt, Lowry's or whatever kind you got. There we go. And then you can just add anything else you want in there as far as seasoning goes, as long as it's not in uh, like not soy sauce, not wet, something wet. It has to be something. Um, dry. Um, hot tap water. We want to try that. Sure. Uh, I'm going to try some hot tap water. I need a cup of that um, to mix this. And But, you know, you, before I had um, boiled it, but I just want to try it and see if it will still um, activate the psyllium. So we'll stir that up. And ready to add that okay and just add it and stir it and don't be put off because of the fact that it's not really thickening at first because you need a bit of time for the psyllium to become all gluey and stick this together Yeah, I just thought we would make this because people really love this stuff whenever I let them try some. We use it anywhere you could use regular crackers, you know, except for, I would say, except for, um, you can't really put it in soup <laughs> or it would turn back into its, this state. But I like to put cream cheese with, uh, you know, um, lox, onion, peanut butter, and jam. Okay, so at this point we're gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna split this either in two or four pieces, roll it in a ball, and then I will take out two pieces of parchment paper and roll uh, to about, we're gonna try about a eighth inch, 
eight to a quarter inch thick. Eight inch. Yeah, and we're gonna try that because last time we made it, it was way too thick. <laughs> it was too, no, I just wanted it to be crispier. So we'll be, we'll be back. Okay, so we're just, there it is, sandwiched between two pieces of parchment and we're gonna, Lens has taken another smaller um, cookie sheet. And just roll that out. Helps if you have a rolling pin. You want to try a rolling pin? Do we have one here? Yeah, I've got that big one in here. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't get it in any case, just roll it out as best you can. And until you like the... That's pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's put some more on there. Okay. Mm. So we'll just carry on like this. We're just going to fill it in until we get a good sheet of that where we can bake it a bit for 10 or 15 minutes and then score it and then throw it back in and bake it again. So here is what one of the pans look like. Kind of gives an indication of how thin you want to make it. Um, if you make it too thin, of course, it's not going to hold together, but uh, I like this uh, thickness. And we're going to throw this in the oven, um, 400 degrees, depending on how hot your oven is. You, you should know your, your oven's capabilities because <laughs> they're all different. But we're going to do ours uh, 400 degrees for 20 minutes. We'll check it and then possibly flip it over and score it into cracker shapes with the pizza wheel. And then a further 20 minutes and we are in, um, in business for seed crackers and I'll come back and show the finished product. Okay, so this is how it ought to look when it comes out the first time after 20 minutes. It's nice and brown, but the underside is like this. You know, it's um, a little kind of um, wet. It has to be flipped. So um, anyway, yeah, you just pick that up, you flip it over and we're gonna go ahead and cut that. Just Use a pizza wheel, and when you first take it out, just score it like this. I mean, even if you didn't go all the way through, it'll um, you can still break it apart once it's crispier. So we flip that one over. We have. Um, Board it and in back in the oven for another 20 minutes it goes so alrighty here's what we got um, the crackers are done you know and some just broke up but uh, majority of them stayed in a bit of a cracker shape yeah so that was a particularly thin one so it broke up but that's okay you can just eat the uh, crumbs are yummy this was our thinnest one of all I think it took literally 10 minutes and then flip it and then 10 minutes more so you kind of have to adjust um, your baking time in accordance with how thick you rolled it out to these were a little thicker so they took uh, I think about 15 minutes and then flip and then 10 or 15 minutes further. So that's the one didn't really cut all the way through, but now that it's dry, I can just break it apart easier. Yeah, and these are gonna be so yummy. I hope you enjoyed my uh, video uh, presentation of my seed crackers and maybe you could make some and enjoy them. Bye.